Hello my fellow Christian fiction lovers, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you a little reading room tour. So very quick backstory, I don't share a lot of personal stuff on my YouTube channel, but I am a military kid, I move pretty frequently, and I'm actually moving again at the end of this year to go to college. I'm moving back in with my mom, very excited about it. But that being said, I don't have much time left in this room, so I might as well film a tour now. I'm just enjoying this space while I can. There are so many things that I'd love to do with this room, but there's just times when you've gotta like draw the line and realize that it's not worth it when you only have so much time left in a certain space. But I'm pretty pleased with it, and I really enjoy reading in here. I read in here like almost every day, so let me share it with you and show you what I have done. So the house that I currently live in has three bedrooms and the third bedroom, which is my reading room, is very tiny. I cannot imagine actually fitting a whole like bedroom set in here, but it functions very well as like my little library and place where I read. So let's just start at the beginning I'm in the doorway. And then this is the reading corner. This is where the actual, actual like reading process happens. My sister used to sleep on this hammock when she lived here, but not anymore. Uh, it's my reading hammock now. I have a little drawer for all of my snacks because yes, I do like to eat while I read, occasionally, like when I'm hungry. So I keep some snacks. This is my TBR rocking chair. I used to have a TBR table and honestly, it, like I don't really care as long as all of the books I haven't read are kept in one place. I have had that rocking chair for forever. I think my grandparents gave it to me. I don't even know its origin story, but I keep all of my unread books on there and a little like jar, bucket, whatever you would call that, of bookmarks. And I have so many bookmarks that I never use, but that's a whole other conversation. <laughs> and then I just strung some fairy lights up on the wall because it makes it look super, super cute like at night. And then right there is where the dog likes to lay while I read. He's always in here with me, I love him. But we keep on moving, I have this like lamp, I'm not sure what you call it, and then this is what used to be the TBR table. Um, I keep all of the books that I have finished but not cataloged on this table. And this quilt, my grandmother on my father's side actually made it, and every once in a while I like switch it out because it's actually like a king-sized quilt. And so I like to get all the different um, like patterns shown and also so it doesn't fade. But anyway, yep, and this table, I'm just going to brag on myself for a quick minute. I walked, walked, carrying this table home for like a mile, maybe not quite a mile, maybe like three quarters of a mile. But yeah, pretty proud of myself because it was free. It's just a basic table. Okay, anyway, then we have the windows, and then this is what you guys see all the time. These are my bookshelves and my desk chair that goes in between my bedroom and this room <laughs> very frequently, like basically every day I'm carting it in or out of this room. And these are my lovely bookshelves that you guys see. That's where I sit, and then this is my tripod, which sometimes I leave it in a corner. Sometimes, I most of the time I just leave it set up and I have my camera on it and the camera is charging. But yeah, so those are my bookshelves. I keep a lot of books in those drawers because I don't have tons and tons of space on my bookshelf. What you're looking at is like my only bookshelf options. But yeah, that is the whole room. I'll do like a scan. There you go. So that is, that's the reading room. Kaipai, any words? Any words? No words, just cuteness. Okay, cool. So that is my reading room. I love this space so much and I know that I am so, so blessed to be able to have a whole room dedicated just to enjoying books. I do basically all my reading in here. I film every video in here and I am so, so happy that I have this space. I definitely won't have this privilege at my mom's house when I move there, 
but I will try and create a space just for enjoying books where I can read them and talk about them because literally it makes me so so happy that I not only get to like enjoy books but I get to talk about them and share them and it just I love it. I love it so, so much. So let me know what kind of space you have for reading, if you have your own personal reading room, or if you like to go outside. I love to read outside. I just don't get to very often. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like it, go ahead and give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you Friday for whatever video that is. Until then, bye!